All right, what is up, you guys? And as always, welcome back to another Wi-Fi battle with your truly the Scarander. And today we're going up against Remo. And um, I mean, I'm using a Thracion, so no matter how I twist and turn things, it is absolutely an OU game. But depending on what it brings, it could be more than that. But it is not. This is actually kind of cool. Um, I I see Defogger. Like Covenant is clearly a Defogger. But besides that, his obvious lead, I level with two here, but um, the one that makes sense is absolutely Incineroar, but also Tyranitar is kind of a good lead. I'll, I'll argue that even potentially Corviknight is a good lead, but I have a few things going my way. Um, I'm going to start off with a Dredagon, mainly because of the glare as... Uh, he has no electrics, so he can definitely be punished and paralyzed. And it seems to be his only like special attacker is um, Slowbro. So I feel my double could uh, could be very annoying for him. <laughs> but yeah, try to set up hazards and uh, take it from there. Um, I'm nervous. This is a good team. I like the synergy. Maybe one more special attacker and he would have had a complete team. Maybe kick off Trevenant for a more especially offensive grass type or electric would have been completing that team as a really good high tier team. But overall, like, who am I to judge? I'm clearly using a lot of dumb mods, so that's probably what he's thinking. <laughs> it starts out with Incineroar, so we get the lead right. Um, he has Intimidate, he has Potting Shot, he could go for knockoff, all these things. I just really want him to stay in so I can get him paralyzed. Or if he U-turns, go into Corviknight. Um, Corviknight walls this set, but it does not enjoy being paralyzed. So there's a parting shot, makes sense. And I think overall, like, that's, that's the play you make. So, Corviknight. Corviknight can, um, versus this, really do nothing besides potentially bulk up. Like that's the only like good thing about Corviknight is that it could be one dimensional. Or it brings Tyranitar, set up some sand. I mean I'm I'm guessing. I am I'm, I'm convinced myself Corviknight is the obvious play, but he's taking a lot longer, so he, he I'm thinking he made a call about potting shot first, and I guess which Pokemon to switch in came later. Corviknight, told you. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I do have two switchings versus Corviknight. Um, Copper Arch, really good switching versus Corviknight, even if it's the body press set. Um, same thing with Lumen, actually. There is no drawback besides bulk up through. Actually, yeah, that's the thing, though. There is no drawback unless it's bulk up. The thing is with Copperage is that it forces it out. So we're just gonna gauge the set really. We drew it. Alright, alright, cool. To oh that's actually unfortunate. Mold breaker. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. I don't like this. I'm gonna fish for a Skullburn, really. Um, he could fear the Ice Beam. He has a free, like, setup versus this. Depending on which type of Haxorus this is. Outrage. Alright, there is... There is no going back. There is no going back. <laughs> Get the burn, buddy. Get the burn. Okay. Do I need him? I'm asking the greater questions. Can I roost versus a few of these? I can. I really can. I just don't switch in well at all versus versus him. That's it. Like I don't have any defenses races here. No, I mean, if that's his play, then that is his play. I'm, I'm losing. No, I don't. I can't do it. 
I can't do it. Do I need Mabel? Least valuable member. Probably Mabel. Ah, nah, sack it. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> I hope it gets one more turn of this. So I can just optimize with um, with Copperage to uh, take him out. No confusion. Yes. He has to attack with Ma one more time. So that means the Hectress is out, but uh, with clearly casualties in the whole team. Now, I don't know how much an outrage here will actually do, but I definitely didn't feel comfortable switching this in. Was it a two hit kill? No, it wasn't, but I would be lying if it wasn't close too. And uh, goodbye, Hexers. Fuck. Okay. Um, <laughs> go, Rocky Helmet. <laughs> oh, we would draw. Good. <laughs> the levels of stress. <laughs> okay, so I have two plays here. Both make sense. Um, but consider Hacksaw is out uh, on the switch in. I'm actually better off going for Stealth Rocks here, forcing him to potentially defog. And if he Brave Birds, he gives me a good free switching. And if he brings Axorus, then you know, he brings Axorus. Versus Covenant, I kinda just want to get my double in there. But it, it is not that easy. So I get Stealth Rocks up, I really wanna see what he tries to do. My best guess is Braybirding. Or being crippled, because that's a thing. <sighs> I could run with this. I feel, I feel Sabaton. Come on, buddy. This gotta work. Defog. Makes sense? Like I said, it's kind of the safest play he has. Unfortunately for me, it kind of kicks me in the back a little bit. Um, scouting guard. I really want to see what he has. He has bulk up or if he has body press. Body press, that's not going to do anything. He's going to lose actually more HP than I am. <laughs> nope. So right, I think the switch in here is um, slow bro. Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be it. Trevenant. Now this could be actually a leech like variant of Trevenant. Since I have rest, I'm not super worried, but um, I'm, I'm, it could be a leech life. Let's see, payback will do nothing. Will o wisp. And that's okay. It is whether or not he can do anything to me. So I keep attacking one more time just to really see what it's all about. Um, Lead seed. Ah, it is that kind of. Because we actually don't mind being burned besides no payback. But we will lose our HP really fast here. So... So... What is the play? Kandula. I think a horn leeches here, or... Even worse, curse. <laughs> but it definitely won't go for another Will O Wisp. More leech. Yeah, there it is. Um, and we get a really safe um, heat crash off. And we should be able to outspeed. 
So I haven't seen like the stalled variant or stalled breaker ish variant of um, of this guy in like forever. So uh, call me impressed because this was actually a real annoying set in Generation 6 Mogan. Uh, oh, he did outspeed me. So he got some speed investment on that guy. No, I am just base 30. I'm being dumb. I still think they should do a whole lot, actually. Yeah, yeah we're good. But he could have Citrus. And Citrus' is Harvest as a nasty combo. But if he fails to Citrus here, he is actually... Oh, Jesus Christ. Just heat crashing. Um... Hmm. Let's think about this. I mean, a crit here would definitely help. It's one citrus, as long as it doesn't get another harvest, which should be good. It is whether or not he wants to sack it. He gets the harvest, damn it! Damn it! Oh, that's fifty percent for you. <laughs> Damn it! Really? That's actually kind of cool, but it is very much unfortunate for me. Okay. The positive part was we saw Harvest. Because we can Willow Wisp him back and kind of nerf his damage output a little bit. See what he wants to do. In reality, I kind of just want to get Terrakion in and get the Swordsness going. But I really want Trevenant out of the way somehow. Let's see, does his eye switch out, goes to Incineroar, he gets probably the strongest played out there there is. I can right now only hope that uh, he goes for a knockoff over uh, something like, um, like Flare Blitz. I need two layers, buddy. Because basically, the Trevenant can't beat my Jabul at all, and I am extremely aware of that, but... Let's see, Pawnee Shot, yeah, that's actually better. Hmm... Two Covenites, which have yet to lose HP, actually. Yeah, we do in display. Poly paralyzed, nice. So soul stance. He does decide to stay in at least. So it's whether or not it goes for a body press or try to go for defog. Goes for defog. So that means Hexers is still kicking and we're gonna go for Stone Edge. Damn, I like spikes too. I really did. Withdraws goes to Trevenant. Oh, we need this. We need to connect this. Yeah, yeah, that's the game for you. Let's try that one more time. Come on, buddy. <laughs> we draw Trevenant. Okay, he did not feel comfortable there either. Back to Covenites. 
So right, Corviknight is gone. Basically, like, Terrakion breaks this whole team wide open. But I feel Haxorus could be Scarfed. Like, more so if it comes in directly after like this. So, um, yeah. Rocky Helmets all the way. I won't I won't risk that. Close combat. Alright, cool. We will manage to live that one. And we will actually knock out the Haxorus. So I think that was the right call. For me, that switching makes no sense unless that's your in-game. But I have no way of necessarily beating Trevenant unless I get it like low. So my strat here is actually to clear it. That works very well for me for the time being. We're actually like this game is absolutely not gonna end uh, in time. He brings in Transhar. Sets up to Sandstream. Do we have a switching for this? Oh, yes and no. But um, I do what I always have been doing, really, and that is um, glaring. And then if I manage to live, I'm gonna set up Stealth Rocks. Depending on what he wants to do, I have no idea. I mean, it gives my... Oh my god, what? Okay. I mean, I probably won't be able to take a max rockfall, but I'm... Like, if he decides to Dynamax, then I'm gonna absolutely Dynamax my... I, I have no idea why I did this. But I'll take it. <laughs> Would you not speed, though? Come on, waste his... Uh, waste them. Max darkness, fine. So right. Go Mabel. I wonder if he fears the Destiny Bond. I have no idea what he's thinking. Or if he stalls the timer, that could also be a thing. I really hope he doesn't do that. Because I basically want two layers of spice up at least one. Yes! Let's see, we're like, yeah, I was just about to say, this game should end anytime soon. So max Steel Spike. Damn shame, really, that like there is a max limit, because I, I win now. Crackion wins the game. So it's a real damn shame. Ah, I hate this timer, I really do. This would draw, I think it goes directly to Trevenant, right? Slow bro, good play. If 
But yeah, the timer is not in our favor. So it's my opponent, like, I'm, we clearly wrap him up here no matter what. I really hope he doesn't try to, like, set here, timer stall it. But uh, we may be two hits in. And I won't be able to knock out enough Pokemon to win the game. But we are pretty sure which one wins here. Because he cannot take the combination that I represent right now. And with a plus one to that, yeah, I got this. That's actually, like, we talked about that before, but the Mega, um, or the Dynamax aspect is, uh, I mean, if you predict it, I guess it's fine, but if you haven't statuarized it, I mean, it's, it becomes rather annoying very quick. And uh, even with that, let's talk about the timer for a little bit. How funny is that? Let's see, he does decide to at least let me knock him out here, and uh, I'm going to at least be able to knock out one more Mon, I believe, and that's wrap. Ah, oh, it's such a shame, really. But this game did not go well for me in the beginning. Um, just that I have the chance to kind of pressure my opponent a little bit afterwards, it's kind of nice, but... Uh, I would have at least needed like two more minutes to win the game. Uh, I think my opponent knows that too. I tried to pull all the stuff versus Trevenant, and my start here with... Um, um, my man time probably wasn't the strongest one. Probably should have just pressured my opponent directly. Oh, he's actually absolutely waiting out the timer. Oh well, like I said, I'll, I clearly take this victory. My opponent has no way now of stopping Trachion whatsoever. So even though it is a win in his favor, it is not without flaws. He's clearly out of his depth versus this Trachion, which is nice. Um... Damn, like this time it rarely intervenes, but when it does, I'm and I am in a winning position. It it I shouldn't say it's frustrating, but it's annoying because I know what position I am in and how well I could have wrapped up the game. <laughs> yeah, because the amount of time it took here to make that play, it is very obviously stalling. So I don't know man. You know if you wanna play the game, at least be a man about it. And if you can't do it, then don't play. I mean, come on. You see, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure he, like, left, uh, <laughs> he left the, the PC. Anyway, guys. I, I should not repeat myself. I Like I said, I clearly won here versus Remo. I'm not... I'm not too worried. I mean, it's, what is that? Three months left. Trevenant would not be able to take a Max Rockfall or a Stone Age for that matter. Um, he would not been able to take uh, close combat, of course, from uh, Tyranitar, and of course, Incineroar would not be able to take a close combat. So it was it was absolutely my victory. So no hard feelings, Remo. You know, get better. That's all I can say. Everybody watching, as always, for doing just so. You guys are awesome. Have a great day, everyone.